In this video, I'm going to show you how to make these really simple shoe booties that are designed to just slip over your sneaker shoes or for those people who don't remove their shoes in your home. Annoying. Okay, so let's get this going. Um, what you're going to need first is a square that measures 14 inches. 14 by 14. So this is like a typical almost fits all size. But if you want to make it larger, like I have here for a much larger uh, shoe, what you're going to do is you're going to keep your 14 inches this way, but you're going to enlarge in it this way. So you can do 14 by 16, or if you have Bigfoot coming, 14 by 18, you'll sort of make more of a rectangle. So I'm going to show you just the standard 14 by 14 but again, you can add more inches in your width. Okay, so to move it along, what I did was I gave my edges a zigzag, or if you have a serger, you can finish your edges with a serger, and of course, you can also use pinking shears. Once you do that, you're gonna fold it wrong sides together, and you'll pin. Once you're pinned, what you're going to do is you're going to sew up your edges. Now, I don't like that the shoe booty has pointy edges. So if you just sew here, you can do that and keep it that way. But your booty comes out with a pointed edge, a pointed front and a pointed back. It kind of looks like an elf shoe and I don't like that. So what I'm going to do is just give myself a little tiny curve here. And I am going to pink it so that um, it does not fray as I wash because these are reusable and rewearable. So just a tiny little curve. I don't want to take off too much. And I'm going to pink the edges as well as I struggle here. I'm going to sew with a quarter inch seam allowance from the top here all the way down the curve to the end. And I'm going to backstitch on the ends. I'm going to give myself a quarter inch seam allowance. And I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side. I'll start from the curve this time. sides are sewn together what I'm going to do is fold over the top and create a casing so how much you fold over depends on the width of your elastic so this elastic is a 3 8 width so you can of course use a much thinner one but I believe due to the pandemic I can't find those at all in stores so I'm going to fold over enough for it to fit and the length of this elastic is 16 inches. So if you're making a much larger booty, you may want to add an inch or two to your elastic. All right, so with my casing created, I'm going to just give it a press. To hold it down. And if you press it down well enough, you don't even need to pin, but it's up to you and what your comfort level is. And now what we're gonna do is we are gonna sew, leaving an opening for our elastic to go in, but we're gonna sew close to the edge all the way around, again, leaving an opening so we can slide in the elastic. Now that I'm approaching the opening, I'm going to get close to it and do a back stitch. And now I'm ready to add the elastic. I'm going to add a safety pin to the end of my elastic and I'm going to feed it through the casing, making sure that this end doesn't go in as well. So you just scrunch the fabric onto the safety pin and your safety pin walks all the way through the casing. Now that it's all fed through, I remove the safety pin and then I just sew these together. You can overlap them 
just a bit. And what I do is I sew and backstitch a few times overlapping over it, and then it feeds right into the casing. And it doesn't matter that my thread doesn't match in color on my elastic because it hides in there. And now that that's in, I'm just going to close up this open space. Just continue my stitch right there. Making sure you do not sew over your elastic. Backstitch on the ends. It's like that you have your shoe booties that you can offer to guests or uh, people that come in and work in your home that just don't remove their shoes or dirty boots. Let's be honest here. Not everybody does. So something you want to consider are other fabrics. This is another one I'm considering and it's a nylon with a urethane coating. So it kind of makes it waterproof. So my thoughts were I was gonna use it on this side, this as the wrong side, the urethane coating so that uh, when the, my guest walks, they don't slip. I also have another type of fabric that I'm considering, but I might not work with because this is a nylon, but it's quite slippery. It feels great. It's like, if you really wanna think of what type of fabric this is if you don't recognize it it's like what umbrellas are made out of but i think this might be too slippery and i don't need an issue in my house with the guests slipping while they're on their feet but just other things to think of maybe even a canvas is good as well so thank you for watching and i really hope you enjoy making your own shoe booties